Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cami at large. Today's video will be about my journey using the GI Bill and Yellow Ribbon program. Um, pretty much my channel, up and coming and new, um, I'm gonna pretty much do various things. Um, it's not just gonna be focused on law school. Um, so every now and then you'll see a video about something weird or you know, whatever. I just, I really want it to be a diverse channel and uh, gain perspective, you know, uh, do you know my life basically so um yeah if you guys have any ideas videos or anything you want to hear me talk about or you know topics especially uh there's just various things various aspects of life that I would love to give a perspective on so um yeah uh let's get started <clears throat> so I want to say I joined and I also have notes down here too so that's why I'll be looking down because I have notes um I joined uh, September 1st of 2015 um, and I'll be getting out August 31st it's always the day before you join like you know so if any of you are wondering it's always the day before so four years and I want to say I timed it like right I timed it right on you know really good so if any of you are about to join you're at the you know you want to do military and then law school or you know whatever what have you it will definitely be a help if you join around that August, September, you know, for four year orders, of course, um, that August, September range. Cause I definitely got lucky. I didn't even realize that like, you know, I, oh, I realized I joined in September and school starts in August. So I'm really going to hit the ground running as far as like, there will be no gaps in between, you know, uh, military and school. I'm literally going straight in cause I'm, I'm that type of person where I just can't sit around and you know I have to be doing something so definitely worked out for me not saying that you can't join any other time I'm just saying if you happen to join you know definitely works out as far as timing and no gaps so that worked out for me okay um taps uh, I feel like I can't talk about the you know GI Bill and yellow room program without discussing you know taps it's pretty much a class I know Navy uh, that's what we call it I'm not sure what other branches call it um, but we call it TAPS, pretty much transition, uh, I forget what the other acronym stands for, but it's pretty much like a transition class that is mandated by the government that has to be in place for uh, military members getting out, has to be, because it's definitely needed, you know, so um, <clears throat> definitely you'll have to go through it if you are military currently in, you'll have to go through TAPS. And um, me, I went, I want to say I went about four months out, so I recommend um, about yeah, like four months, but I didn't apply for benefits. I applied for those about five months out, five, six months out, because I knew I didn't want to go to that class and it'd be the first time I'm learning about GI Bill or, you know, Yellow River Program. I didn't want it to be like, a, you know, Darren Headlights the first time I'm going to this class. So I pretty much had my stuff lined up, you know. I didn't start with the GI Bill Yellow River Program until I was accepted into a school. That's when I knew, like, okay, you know, because only because like I didn't want people to drag their feet, you know, oh, you're not accepted yet, you know, so I'm waiting to, you know, I didn't want any hair, I didn't want any of that in the way. Um, you can, you know, if you want to get in early, I'm pretty sure you, things will be fine. But for me, it was just peace of mind knowing that I was accepted and, you know, I could go through this process knowing that, look, I'm, I'm, sit, I'm locked in, you know, so um, that's pretty much what I, I started. I get. I started getting start. <laughs> I started getting started on that um, about five six months. And what I did was because um, there's hardly any information about what to do. Even personal research, like there's not much information on the web about Yellow Ribbon Program or GI Bill, which I feel like there needs to be aside from written, you know, articles and stuff like that. I feel like it's more helpful when you have somebody, um, which is why I'm making this video talking to you about it, talking you through it. So what I did, go on the VA.gov website, and on there you'll see a tab, Apply for Benefits. And um, I know it's confusing. A lot of people assume that it's automatic. You know, like, yeah, why, I don't have to apply. Yeah, you do, because it's not that it's not there, it's just that you have to apply for those benefits. So you get them, but they can't release them until you apply for it. So everybody has to apply for those benefits. Um, so you go on the VA.gov, apply, you'll fill out a form. They'll ask you certain questions like, you know, are you active duty? You know, there's a series of questions on there that you'll have to answer. Um, if you wish to relinquish your, like switch out, 
Like me, originally I had put in for the Montgomery and I'm like, oh no, that's not gonna be the best. It's not gonna work best for me. Uh, for what I was, you know, it's pretty Montgomery is pretty much for like trade schools. It, it, it's better used for trade schools. Not to, not that you can't use it for, you know, uh, you know, school or whatever or college. Uh, I heard it's better used for like trade schools and you know certificates and things of that nature. Um, so I opted to switch out. And there's an option that you can relinquish your uh, Montgomery for the G, you know, the post 9/11. Um, and it advertises about 30 days that you'll get it. And I had no problem. They said 30 days and it came in 30 days. So um, I haven't had a problem as far as time with getting that. Um, and what they send is your letter of eligibility, which you'll need to send to your school. Every school should kind of have like a, a veterans rep, a military rep um, in admissions. So the woman, she automatically knew who, you know, what to do. I, I As soon as I got my acceptance letter, literally the next day, I emailed her, hey, uh, you know, I'm military, I'm getting out. Uh, what documents do you need from me as far as, because uh, I know you guys are participants in the Yellow Ribbon Program and uh, I will be util utilizing my GI Bill as well. And she, you know, pretty much, yeah, all I need is this, this, that, boom, boom, bop. Yeah, that's it, you know, so uh, pretty much like once you get your acceptance letter, as far as you being in the military, I will wait, you know, you don't have to, once again, you don't have to wait. Um, but once you get that acceptance letter, boom, hit the ground running, you know. Uh, email that admissions, admissions rep, get your GI Bill started. Um, and as far as Yellow Ribbon Program, um, it's pretty much it pretty much covers what the GI Bill won't, that extra space. I think it's definitely utilized for a lot of uh, graduate, you know, and doctoral and professional, you know, degrees or things that cost a little bit more than a bachelor's. Um, or, hey, maybe some bachelor's, you, you go into a really prestigious school, maybe it's a little bit more money and they'll, they'll pretty much cover what's, what's uh, whatever left of that. And just to clarify, every school, my, may or may not may not be a participant in the Yellow Ribbon Program, and every school may not offer the same, they won't match, they may not match the same amount. So the school I'm going to matches 100% with the Yellow Ribbon Program, which means that they'll, whatever is left over, they will cover it. You know, other schools, they'll only give you, you know, $6,000, you know, or this amount, this, that amount, this, you know, so it is, you know, definitely look into the school. If you go on the VA website and you do, um, I don't want to say, not the comparison tool, but if you go and you'll look at Yellow Ribbon Program, they'll have a chart that e which each school offers, you know what I mean? So you'll be able to know, you know, what school, what schools will offer what. Um, so that's, that kind of played a big part in my decision process. Cause a lot, some, one school I looked at, you know, didn't have much as far as Yellow Ribbon Program, and I would have been coming out of pocket, you know, a couple thousand dollars for the school. So that definitely played a big role in that. So I would definitely recommend you look at, go on the va.gov website and look at the um, yellow ribbon chart by state or by school, whatever they have going on there. Definitely find out um, if the school does the yellow ribbon program and if they match 100%, um, definitely helps. Cause um, I also was able to get a scholarship, but um, you know, even with the scholarship to that certain school, it, I would still had to come out of pocket. It wasn't that much of a scholarship. So um, yeah, as far as GI Bill. Um, what was that? <clears throat> so you go to the TAPS class and um, once I, uh, I'm sorry, let me back a little bit. So I, the admissions rep, she said that she needed the GI uh, letter of eligibility, which, you know, you'll put in for on the VA of when you apply for benefits. And I'll email, they'll mail that to you. Um, you'll scan it in. Um, and also DD-214 is what you'll need as far as law school and what, she needed from me as far it might just be that school in particular maybe other schools don't need it but uh they she requested dd214 as you know i don't i won't have my dd214 until i get out so prior to that i know if many of you are starting just like i am in the same situation uh if you can supplement that with a statement of service um your admin department knows should know what it is um pretty much just saying hey because unless you have like i if you don't have a DD-214, it's very hard to prove that you served in the military. Very, it, it, it's not impossible, but I just heard that it's hard. And this is just from word of mouth, like people telling me that if you get that DD-214, make sure you make copies, file it with your local um, courthouse or you know city hall or whatever. File it, like make sure it's on record. You want to have copies of multiple copies upon copies 
of your DD-214. So um, yeah, so since I won't have that, they can supplement that with a statement of service. So I sent an attachment of those two, two straight to her. And that's all I needed as far as, you know, what they needed from me, you know, and that's it. And once, you know, I'm going to keep calling, you know, the, um, the school, making sure everything is going straight. I don't want any, you know, any problems, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as that. Um, it was pretty smooth. Let me look at my benefits. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but I would definitely apply, like start, get the ball rolling six months out. You know, um, you don't want to be one of those people that last minute, you know, this, that, you know, now you're stumbling. Now you can't concentrate. And now you're, you don't know if you're going to, you know, get your money on time. Definitely six months out. As soon as you get that acceptance letter or I mean, whenever you get that accept acceptance letter, because it's fairly a uh, quick process. It's not really hard. I just hear that the earlier you do it, um, the less, you know, trouble you might ha end up having getting your money for the GI Bill, your program, whatever that is. But yeah, um, and I do plan on um, and more videos going more in depth with Yellow Ribbon Program because uh, there definitely needs to be more content out there as far as GI Bill and Yellow Ribbon Program, especially on YouTube. I know when I was researching, I saw a few videos that, you know, weren't really helpful. But I hope that I'm going to try and do a little recap. Um, okay, so six six months out, you know, get your acceptance letter or whenever time frame, hopefully you apply early enough so that there is a few months between when you start school and when you get out or there is a few, you know, we have a few months basically of breather, you know, um, as far as being in the military and getting your tax done and all that other stuff. You have like some months in between when you start, not when you get out, but when you start. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> six months out, do that acceptance letter. Uh, go on va.gov website, apply for benefits, apply for your letter of eligibility, change it if need be, relinquish. Uh, if you have signed up for the Montgomery, relinquish those benefits and change it to the GI Bill. Uh, month, I'm sorry, post 9-11. Um, do that, get your statement of service, contact, make sure you contact, call them, email them before you send those documents in. You know, make, you want to establish, uh, you know, communication with who the VA rep is for that school. Um, so that way it's easier for you, you know, contact them, send those two documents in. Um, and before all that research, the yellow ribbon program, make sure that the school is a participant. Um, if they are, what percentages can you get? Is it hundred percent matching? Is it not? Um, uh, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. GI bill is pretty easy. Um, uh, literally letter of eligibility. That's all you do. Like the beat the, it's easy for the GI bill, but the yellow ribbon program is a little bit more in, eh, you know, um, but yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you want to hear as far as um, Yellow Ribbon Program, GI Bill, um, getting out in general, like transitioning, how, how I'm dealing with it now, like my experience in those areas as a whole. Um, I know I plan on doing a big video as far as like applications. I do plan on making another video about that because it's probably going to be like a series thing. Um, but yeah, my next video will pretty much be about LSAT. Um, and applications. I'm going to talk about um, letters of recommendation, you know, how did I obtain them being out of school for <laughs> four years, you know, or not having access to teachers, you know, to get those uh, recommendation letters as far as um, what else do we got? Mm, we got uh, uh, my, uh, oh my God, personal statement. How, how did I do that? Um, uh, cause that can be pretty confusing as well. And resume, all that other stuff. I will definitely go over every application aspect, um, that there is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe once again, and thanks for tuning in. It's your girl, Cami at large. Have a good one.